Um, so this one, we're trying to take the cube root of 8. Now, when you're having decimals, it kind of gets a little confusing. Obviously, having a calculator would be very helpful. If you didn't have a calculator, then it can be um, a, li you know, a little bit more difficult. But there is one thing we know. 8 is a cube number. Forget about the decimals for a second. We know that the cube root of 8 is equivalent to the cube root of 2 to the third power, which is just 2. Correct? Does yeah. so everybody follow me? Right? But we need to write this as something where it's going to give us this decimal. Now, first of all, this is negative, right? So if that was a negative 8, then that would be a negative 2, right? Because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 would give us a negative 8. You can simplify the cube roots or the odd roots of negative, negative radicands, right? Just not the even. You can't simplify the even root of negative radicand. All right, so there's a couple things for us to understand. First of all, 0.2 times 0.2. If you were to multiply 0.2 times 0.2, what happens is our decimal places move over to point. 0, 4. And if you were to multiply 0. 0.2 times 0. 0.04, that would give you 0. 0.008. So it works. Okay? So therefore, the decimal, if you guys can see, when this, when you multiply 0. 0.2 times 0. 0.2, that gives you 0. 0.04. Okay? And that's in your decimal operations. I'm not going to get into decimal operations. I'm just going to show you that's what it works out to be. So therefore, this answer would be cube root of negative 0.2 cubed. And if you have a calculator, you can try it. Guess and check. Do 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2. Yes? Since you're taking the odd root, you can, take, you can simplify negatives, positives. Okay. So your simplified answer would be a negative 0.2. So when you guys have decimals, your radicand is going to be a decimal, or your simplified version will be a decimal. Okay? 